Uh, all right. So in my last uh, lecture, I talked about the original paper, which was nineteen ninety two. Uh, today, I will talk about another paper. <coughs> It's about the mystification of the original paper in two thousand. This one talks about Bayesian analysis and how it is more intuitive and natural for Black Litterman framework. So the guys try to uh, say, try to prove that this formula, uh, this formula, but uh, they knew, of course, they knew it is Bayesian. It uses the Bayesian idea, but they didn't mention the word Bayesian. So uh, uh, and other people, other people such as Stephen Satchel and Alan Scowcroft try to explain it a little more. So as I told before, it tries to make friendship between traditional managers and quantitative managers, so that so it's a unification. So equilibrium excess risk is this formula. And beta, when you do the regression, I mean, when you combine one and two, you get this one, you get three. So beta is useful for long-term investments, since the stock's volatility can change significantly from year to year, depending upon the company's growth stage and other factors. So this represents the forecast of manager or investor after updating for the information from the quantitative model. So they used four assumptions for theorem one. For example, they try, so this is the posterior probability function, posterior probability density function, and it is, it has a mean And the last, this one is the variance. So it's a normal distribution of mean. This is the mean of that. And this is the variance of that. So they prove this. And this is the proof. It's very simple, just multiplication. And uh, they showed that they can show this posterior uh, probability density function in another format. We are not going to talk about it. And so this is the proof in 2000, a better proof, let's say. So let's talk about the implementation in, in Python using Pi portfolio that is very general. So you can use it for not only Black Litterman, but also other paradigms, other uh, algorithm. So first, uh, you know, implied risk premium is this one. This is the implied risk premium. This is the market's excess return divided by the variance. And the market implied returns vector is this one. This is the market implied returns vector. So first we try to find delta and use this delta later, use this delta to get the prior. Since in Bayesian analysis, it works like this. The posterior is proportional to likelihood times prior. So that's why, I mean, the library is designed uh, like this to be uh, more general. So, so implementation, so views are either relative or absolute. For example, you use a relative view here. For example, BAC and uh, JP Morgan will outperform Tesla, for example, and GE by 15%. For example, they used uh, some statistical arbitrage. For example, they are here, you short one asset and you, you, you long the other asset. So it's a relative view. But sometimes you use technical analysis. For example, say here is a retracement and then you go on and use some Fibonacci, so use some absolute values. Or, or even absolute value from historical data, you use some 
uh, quantitative, uh, you have the distribution of that. So, so you use other source, which are absolute in nature. So uh, you use the P uh, to represent that, but some of the lines, some of them should be, some of them should be one. So, the, I mean, the library is, is designed like this. So you just prepare your Q and P, and finally, you, you, you give it to Black Letterman uh, module, and this function needs just um, some, some inputs, the covariance matrix and the absolute view. And uh, uh, you see the diagonal covariance matrix containing the variances of each view is, the, is this omega. Tau is very controversial, so they have written a paper like this to describe that, but, but this makes it a diagonal matrix, and this is interesting. And uh, so, so when you get the output, first you define the black Litterman mat matrix with uh, black Litterman um, with your covariance matrix. Of course, covariance matrix is, is a little bit controversial because it's a sample matrix. You need to know, uh, for example, you ha have you written the, the article, Honey, I shrunk, Honey, I shrunk uh, the covariance. This is very important because it's a, it's a convex, linear convex combination of your covariance matrix and the diagonal uh, I mean the, the the target matrix and alpha plus one minus one alpha times d. So this is the shrinkage because if your observation is very little, then your covariance matrix doesn't work. So you need to use some concepts of a shrinkage. Of course, it is related to a shrinkage concept in statistics as well. Uh, but, uh, I mean, use the concept to make sure that your covariance sample matrix is is correct. And because otherwise it creates some instability and you don't you don't like it. And it, it changes your portfolio quite a lot. After that, you you run the Black Litterman framework with market prices and uh, you, you use the, that formula, this formula to calculate the weights of them. Because you, you have got this use, using your posterior, then you can, this is the weights of the black Litterman. So the pi portfolio opt is a, is a really interesting and generalized approach to, to portfolio management. Because you can have different paradigms in a single software. You know, hierarchical risk parity, uh, black Litterman, efficient frontier, and, and others. You can add it as well. And all of them have a return and some and, and risk as well. So, so, so it's a very general framework. But the old paradigm is that every truth has two sides. It is as well to look at both before we commit ourselves to either. But the new paradigm in 2021 says a different thing. It says that flexibility comes from having multiple choices, but listen, wisdom comes from having multiple perspectives. In Black Litterman, you have different uh, perspectives. It integrates uh, some uh, v views from, for example, technical analysis, some views from fundamental analysis, some views from quantitative analysis, even uh, sentimental analysis. So it integrates all of them. And of course, the equilibrium of the market. Uh, and it combines. And so this one is not biased. So it's a way of un unbiasing the estimator. So it's very general. It integrates the different um, approaches. It makes friendship between different sorts of people. And uh, it has less error.